Peanut here with a review for Fanboys, the 2009 road comedy starring Jay Baruchel, Dan Fogler, Sam Huntington and Kirsten Bell. Set in the late 90s, the film follows a group of Star Wars fans, one of whom has tried to distance himself from them and is due to inherit his father's car business, decide to go on a road trip in honor of one of their friends who is dying of an illness to get an early screening of episode one the phantom menace in order to do this they decide to break into skywalker ranch and steal it and of course being a road comedy film many misadventures ensue where they stumble into bars deal with double crosses a strange medicine man who does drugs, and even have fights with Star Trek fans. The acting all around is, for lack of a better term, average. None of the performances here really stand out, and effectively all the actors are playing stereotypes, something we'll get into with script. Though out of the group, Baruchel probably gets some of the better material to work with, given that he is the most stereotypically nerdy of the bunch, and a couple of familiar faces from comedies appear like Christopher McDonald as the father of one of the group who is of course his usual slimy self Danny Trejo also appears as the drug dealing medicine man the chief and he is perhaps one of the few actors who really does anything with his role and he's clearly having fun with it and we even see Billy D. Williams as a judge later in the film and though he gets a very limited screen time he at least tries to make something out of it and even Seth Rogen appears as a pimp and he plays a couple of other roles in the movie and he gets to do the most scenery chewing and he really does seem to indulge in the part and he is like Trejo probably one of the few fun aspects to the movie being low budget, there isn't a tremendous amount to comment on when it comes to visuals and music. And as this is a road movie, most of the locations here are real world locations, a couple of towns and some countryside. Really nothing all that impressive and not really photographed all that well. It's got very average run of the mill cinematography, nothing that really wows you with the landscape or tries to make the film seem bigger than it actually is. And the music by Mark. Mother's Bore really isn't a step up either. It's mostly consisting of tunes from Star Wars and other films and is very much just a patchwork. There's really not much in the way of original music or any music that stands out that isn't related to another movie and it's really only there as supplements to the jokes. And that leads into the big thing which is the script and of course the humor. Now, humor, of course, is subjective, and it's very difficult to talk about with an objective mindset since a joke that may work for someone may not work for someone else, and vice versa. But I'm just going to give you my personal sense on the matter, and that is the film just isn't very clever at all. The jokes here are all cheap. Practically everything in this film is either toilet humor, we've got some poop, fart, and piss jokes in here, or it's some kind of pop culture reference. And on top of that, the film throws in a lot of celebrity cameos from people like Kevin Smith, Danny McBride, Ray Park, Carrie Fisher, and I've just never understood why this is meant to be funny. I mean, it's kind of cool to see them, but I really don't see how it contributes to the plot or the comedy in any way. It just feels very childish. You might as well just be pointing at the screen like a three-year-old going, Mommy, look, it's that person. <laughs> and it just feels very cheap. It's like they couldn't think of anything clever and they just threw that in. They just seem to think that by having somebody cameo, it'll automatically be funny, which it is probably once or twice, but then after that, you just sort of don't give it any real attention and it doesn't really impress you. It goes for every single cheap shot in the book. Whenever it's presented with an opportunity to do something a little bit clever, it doesn't do it. It just goes for the low 
blow. And that's an incredible shame because the premise here is really interesting. You have the potential here to really have fun and poke fun at the fanboys and fan bases and how extreme they can be. And of course make a bit of fun about the hype surrounding episode 1 back in the late 90s. But the film never really seizes upon this. It just goes for the low jokes and it never does anything clever nor does it try to make any real statements. And that's an incredible missed opportunity because there were so many times here where I was thinking, you know what, this could make a great joke if they just seize upon it and they didn't do it. And it doesn't help that being a road movie, characters play a much bigger role than they normally do and you have to really care about them in order to make it work. And here, the characters really have no real personality and come off as just stereotyped. They're your very stereotypical nerds, video games, comic books, all that sort of stuff, and there's really nothing interesting about them. And one of them is pretty much only there just so that they can have a running joke about his testicles. No joke, that's his real only reason to be there, as he's not really much of a sympathetic or likable character. And add to that, there's also a subplot about one of the kids having to get back home in time so that he can take over his father's car business, and for a while they make a really big deal about it, but then pretty much by the end of the movie it's forgiven about and it never gets addressed again, which is just a sign of very clumsy and undercooked writing. And so I must give Fanboys a bronze star. It has a few chuckles here and there, and it has an interesting premise, but it's just so cheap and lowbrow in its execution, and it's so utterly lacking in the cleverness that its premise needs. And given that there are so many other documentaries and films about fans and their extreme behavior out there, this one really isn't worth your time unless you're a really hardcore Star Wars fan or just somebody who wants a cheap laugh for a Friday evening.